What's going on, everybody? Just trying to do something a little different today. I'm going to go ahead and kind of do a casual run through of um, all the planned updates for Phasmophobia. So the developers have released a lot of information over the last uh, week or so about the, the next kind of big update for Phasmophobia. And it's looking pretty spicy, looking pretty good. So there's going to be a lot of changes coming in. So uh, let's go through them together, huh? One of the biggest changes it looks like they're coming out with is progression um, or changes to the, uh, the progression system. So there's going to be a lot of changes to experience and money. I know one of the big takeaways is going to be um, experience and money values are now tied. So if you earn a hundred bucks, you're going to get a hundred XP. So like they say here, nice and simple. That is pretty simple. Um, I think you're also going to be earning a whole lot more money and experience. And that's going to just, you know, I don't know, make buying equipment a little easier. But to compensate for, th for that, um, you'll see a little bit later, there's now a bunch of tiers of equipment. So with the equipment, they're going to have different tiers coming in. So things like the EMF is going to have a, um, a tier one, a tier two, a tier three, etc. cetera. Uh, one that we know already is going to be, I think, the tier two. EMF, uh, I might be wrong on that, but they're going to be doing, you know, like a kind of an old, almost Geiger counter looking kind of EMF as the starter one. And then you kind of work your way up and they obviously will work better as you go up in the tier or be longer range, more effective, more accurate, stuff like that. Um, so that'll be interesting, but you're going to have to buy a lot, like progress a lot more through equipment. So money's going up, experience is going up, but the amount of levels and the amount of equipment you need to buy is also going up. So um, it, it's it's kind of just like a bigger pool to draw from for the more things they're adding. Um, but again, as far as you know, leveling and prestiging, you're going to be able to now prestige past level 100. Um, it's basically, it's kind of like Call of Duty or anything else like that, where um, if you decide to opt to prestige, you basically reset all of your stuff and then you gain an additional loadout slot, a um, bunch of other stuff for yourself, you know, kind of just some identification, kind of, you know, stuff like uh, making your ID look a little different, and it gives you the prestige level and a new badge, I think. Um, so that'll be pretty interesting. Um, as far as the consumables go, um, a lot of it is changing. So salt is changing. Uh, that's a big one. You're going to be able to now see um, actual footprints with the UV light with the salt. Um, there's going to be a few different tiers of that. There's going to be like pink Himalayan salt, you know, in case you want to be salt bay and cook something. But you're going to have, you know, more piles or longer line or some added effects kind of stuff in the different tiers. So it's not just better, right? You're, or better for finding footprints like you used to. Now stuff like the black salt is going to be slowing ghosts down when they walk through it. So you can do things to trap them and maybe get a better opportunity to take their picture to get the bonus or smudge them to get that bonus, etc. So th there's a lot of cool stuff coming there. Um, yeah, here they kind of go through. I think it's um, more of the other big changes. I don't know what's going on. The top, oh, this is their cross-play update, so it's going to be coming into consoles. Um, so that'd be nice. I mean, be able to play with controller and maybe lean back and sit on a couch and play with friends and uh, do some cross play instead of sitting at a computer. If that's your choice, that's cool, too. Um, looks like the ultraviolet lights again. Um, tier one is going to be that cool glow stick. Um, OK, last around one minute before dimming. So you're going to be able to turn it on. You're going to be able to use it, but it's not going to last forever like it currently does. You're not going to be able to just throw it. You're going to be able to. To find your your fingerprints, it goes away, and then and that's it. And then tier two is going to be the normal UV flashlight we already have. Um, same thing, narrow. Uh, you're going to be able to, you know, see the fingerprints as you normally do, and keep it persisting so you can take a picture of it. It looks like so it'll glow. That's cool. Um, the tier three is going to be a pro light, which is just going to be. Uh, a brighter and wider so that's cool you can see right there in that video you have a lot 
bigger field of view to find stuff from. That's cool. Um, cool fixes. Yep. Uh, equipment upgrades. So you're going to be, it's going to have a, basically a, a upgrade system. So you, you upgrade through the tiers. I think instead of just buying each one, you kind of upgrade in place as you go. So I'm not sure if you'll be able to, uh, like use the old one once you upgrade or not. I'm not sure. Um, I didn't really read too much into it. Um, you know, I guess it might just be unlocked. You can probably buy each one. I don't know why you'd want to go for a normal one versus another, because it does say uh, a EMF is always going to cost $45 regardless of tier. So it, I don't know that it really gives you any benefit to choose, you know, the, the lower tier over a new one. So I don't know to each their own. I guess it depends. Maybe uh, situational things come up, but um, let's see. Cool. EMF readers, like I said, kind of a uh, Geiger counter looking thing. It's going to be needles bouncing around instead of just a, a nice light up like the uh, the one down there below the, the current one. Um, that's kind of cool. I like that kind of retro, like a Geiger counter, you know, uh, reenact some uh, Chernobyl. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so it's going to be, uh, I guess, for EMF 5, you're going to see like a bouncing needle. It's going to be going crazy, but it's also going to be quieter in general. So it might be harder to just leave somewhere or or really notice if you're not paying too close of attention. Um, tier 2, normal one. I think this is kind of the trend. You're going to see that the, the stuff that's currently in the game is going to be the new Tier 2. So once it all resets, um, and which be yeah, by the way, uh, everybody's getting reset in their progression for the next patch. So we're all starting from uh, starting from the bottom. Uh, but the tier two is going to be basically the one that we've already used now with a new tier one coming in for everything and then a tier three better one. Um, so, again, old school uh, current EMF readers tier two and the tier three one is. Um, yeah, it looks like you can track a few at once. So you're going to be able to kind of like mark and, and spot different stuff like the door moving and see different readings at once. That's kind of cool. Um, so they kind of, they also brought out a roadmap pretty recently uh, in May, kind of talking about how things are going to be changing throughout the year. Um, so in case you hadn't seen that, you can kind of check it out. But it's basically looking like uh, we're, we're sitting here, we're coming up to the July, so it's the rewards overhaul, equipment upgrades, prestiges, evidence overhauling, um, leveling is different, all that kind of stuff. Uh, we've already seen weather 2.0 and new lighting and that kind of stuff. Um, but then as as the year goes on, uh, Q3 is looking at giving you new tasks, new stuff. Photo and video evidence is changing, um, getting a sound recorder. Uh, and they always put the redacted there because sometimes they I think they have surprises planned. but uh q4 new player models player animations cctv overhaul player customization so now you don't have to choose from the same like pre you know predetermined uh five characters or whatever it is now you can actually make yourself in the game which i'm excited for that that'd be cool um and then it looks like their their plan moving forward is just a you know leading up to a 1.0 re release of any kind is is really just uh, making the ghosts different hallucinations will sounds fun. Um, just all sorts of stuff. So they're just, they're constantly adding to this game. So definitely excited for that. And, um, I'm looking forward to, to playing more of the updates. So, or when it, playing the update, when it does come out with Jay-Z and Sean, uh, one thing I, I still have a bunch of, uh, footage that we have we've recorded. So I'm going to be getting that out before the new updates come. And then when the update does come out, I'll, of course, be posting content relating to that. Um, yeah, as always, thank you for sticking around. Thank you for coming. Please like and subscribe if you have not. Um, and if you want to. And yeah, talk to you guys all later. See you.